Kora obi the husband don't come this morning again to take tell us talk say why in divorce in wife and in need serious help from us i go put the video make una watch see waiting dr dean talk when even they cry on top of the video to take tell people waiting the soap say in why they try restrict him from in children that he was not there when he needed her the most say now say he knows she no see any usefulness of him coming back now to claim say in a better person now in b because over some days now the kids have been with him and all that my beautiful people this now two in one video make you make sure say you watch the video till the very end the next video now update about Jeff Choma and Davido. Make una watch this video till the very end. Thank you. Okay. I'm just gonna start with um, why I divorced Cora. What made me post what I posted? What made me emotionally lose control? And there's only one thing they can make me do that, and that's my kids. Um, and nothing else. Uh, so, many of you know, well, I divorced Cora because we got into an argument. And Cora says things to hurt me sometimes. And she repeatedly told me that she regretted June ever being born. And I asked her to stop saying that. And June was in my arms crying. And she repeatedly said it over and over again. And I called my mother, who will testify this in court, that she would kept saying it over and over and again. And I said, you can't say this to June so you understand what you're saying. June's crying. I attempted to take June out of the room and I said, you can't be around your daughter if you're saying this type of stuff. And she came across the room, my mom's on the phone, will testify this in court, and ripped, violently ripped June out of my hands and, then, and very close di dislocated June's shoulder. The next, that was when I posted online that I was divorcing my wife and I can't be treated this way anymore. When I went live and said, say it again, it was that, that she regretted June being born. So fast forward, many of you reached out to me and I have talked to an attorney. I have talked to an attorney. I'm asked and I can't see my kids right now, and I'm asking for public support because I love my kids. Two days ago, many of you reached out to me and asked me to go get the kids because Cora was because because she was being negligent when when there when she was inside the sink. Um, there's a garbage disposal in that sink within reach of June's foot, so she was putting her foot in the sink. And there was a garbage disposal, and she could have easily mangled her foot. And then Athena, his head was drooping, and she was like, like, getting her airway choked off. And I communicated this, and she ignored me. I called her, and she hung up on me. So, at legal counsel, I went and got my kids for the last two days to protect her, because many of you were reaching out to me and saying that they were going to call child services, which would not be the first time child services was called for negligence. So I went and got my kids and explained to her why I was taking control of the kids. I was not withholding her, and I had no intention of keeping the kids from her. Today I had to work because we haven't found a nanny yet, and I asked her to watch the kids for a little bit. And she agreed, and I said, I will be taking the kids back to my, my house. And when I got there, her friends handed me a pile of papers, and the police were there. 
Well, they showed up later. She falsely filed. So I can't see my kids for, it, it looks like a month because, because she's trying to hurt me. I love my kids, they're my life. And um, men don't cry, but I am, just for my kids. Um, so, yeah, that's why I'm divorcing Cora, because she used the kids to hurt me, and I thought that was wrong, and I didn't want Athena to go through the same things that June's endured the last few years. So now, with this, I'm going to, I was going to split custody with Cora, and now I'm taking full custody. I'm going to fight her. Uh, everything I'm saying here is true. I'm saying no false lies. This is why I divorced Cora, because she hurt June. I didn't cheat on her. I do not have a mistress. No other reasons. I really wanted my family to work. Oh my doctor, Dean, don't talk in mind. I beg make you leave your comments for the comment section. What do you think about the updates where the man give us? Adds in the restriction from seeing his children, my people, whether it they okay, whether Cora is making the right choice because I know say right now a lot of people go they tell her things to do, they advise her and tell her things to do. Do you guys think that her actions are right? My lovely and amazing subscriber, Moku go to our Chivido, our people, our person, our lovers, our couples crush. Maybe say we love so much. Maybe say then just unfollow themselves on Instagram. And a lot of people don't they carry yeah, yeah, they smell, they pass everywhere. They talk things about Choma. One thing when I want to let Una know say if you don't see the person post it or if you don't see the video react to any of tell Una before you believe anything where you see for social media, you go tell people say me then bring proof. At, at least show us something where we say we go they strong enough to carry the allegation where you they put for Chef Chioma head. Now so did they do something. At least you're not just bringing up a picture telling us blah 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 and telling us that this 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 show us proof that's what we ask for. Okay? My lovely people, I beg make Una know they listen to anything where you hear for social media thank you so much for watching this video i beg leave comment for me for comment section and thank you so much i love each and every one of you thank you for your support bye guys